There was a kiss that I don't think was planned. Oh my god, yes! Oh, hello, it's us, Andrew and Andrew, outside of New World Stages, where plays go to die. No, plays also come to live. We're saying sheer madness. Which is the longest running off, off Broadway, not New York show ever, right? It's uh, never actually been in New York, I think. It hasn't, which I think is just sheer madness. It's sheer madness. Um, it's about a, sh uh, a, a murder mystery, maybe? It's a murder mystery in a hair salon. The audience decides who the murderer is? Something like that. Sort of like, um, the, uh, Edwin uh, Drood of the Curious Incident of, of the of Nighttime people. Scissors or something like that. <laughs> Can you tell it's a it's a lazy Sunday? There's definitely some sheer madness going on with our hair. Yeah. We'll see you at intermission of sheer madness at New World Stages. Oh, here we are at intermission, and boy, what fun this is. Andrew, what's the show about? Oh, the show is about a murder. Murder mystery. In a hair salon. You've got the businessman who's probably two-timing on his wife. The you've, gay hairdresser. You've got the sassy blonde with the with the big double Ds. You've just got snapping her gum all the time. And you've got the Upper East Side rich uh, Hoity -toity dame. Hoity-toity lady who lunches. And then two undercover cops who are like, and everyone, if they, everyone sounds cookie cutter, it's because they're the cookiest, cutteriest cookie cutter characters you will ever meet. And there's a woman upstairs that plays the piano, Rachmaninoff, that drives them crazy and she becomes... Be she becomes murdered. She becomes That's murdered. That's how you say it. This show's been running for a million years, yet somehow it's both incredibly topical and, and New York centric. Halfway through the first act, the lights come up on the house, and we are part of the investigation. If it sounds hokey, it's because it is. It is hokey. And if hokey. it sounds stupid, it, it's because it is. If it sounds fun, it's because it's incredibly fun. It's more like dinner theater, although really it's more like drinking theater. Although really they didn't really serve drinks, but we had some. We would recommend that you do have some drinks. And there is a bar. You know, well then what are we doing here outside? Let's go to the green room bar. Uh, we'll see you after the second act of Sheer Madness. And this is truly Sheer Madness. And we're out. Okay. I had so much fun. I didn't think that it would be so much fun. You know how your friends always like, come see my improv troupe. And you're like, mm. uh, But this is like the perfect improv troupe. It show. is. Spoiler alert, there are no spoilers because the show is different every time. Every night, a different murderer is convicted. We saw Jeremy Kushner get convicted, which brings an interesting point up, which is that the acting here is much better than it needs to be. The so true. The, the writing, the improvisational, the go with the flow of the whole show is top notch. Caliber of actors bringing this to off-Broadway is unbelievable. This is a lot of fun. I had a great time. It's not rocket surgery, but it's a lot of fun. It's not the most highbrow thing, but I do think that it's very complicated. To do it here in New York requires really top-notch talent. Um, I would say green light? Absolutely green light. Green highlight. Two green highlights for Sheer Madness at New World Stages. Stages. Where some shows go to thrive. Yeah.